How often do you wash your undergarments? Something all right. Hi guys and welcome to our YouTube channel Jody and Tricky. I'm Jody. I'm this Tricky. Tricky. Oh wait, alright, all right, sorry. I'm Jody. I'm Tricky. No, you, you paused. I'm Jody. I'm Tricky. Too fast. I'm Jody. Hey. Okay, so you haven't seen us do a video together in a while, and so it's time. So today we're going to play embarrassing truth or dare questions to ask your friends, okay? All right, so one question and we both answer, or do we do every other question? I like how you look sick and you're in a jumper is matching. Thank you. You look like... I'm in my Gracie Noir. Yeah, you look like you're about to the airport. Ah, oh, yeah. I wish. I know, and that outfit gets me excited. Yeah? yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's velvety. It's velour. It's cool. Yes, has a little, you know, crop top at the top. Ah. Accentuates the booty boot. Oh. What was the last thing you searched for on your phone? Uh, it was pro it was definitely on Amazon, and it was for an over-the-door hanging laundry basket. Cool. Maybe if you want something more, I could go into my Google. I searched some of the fucked up things that I'm on Google. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, last night on my Google, I was searching for a short pixie wig. Oh. You know I love my wigs. So I search things like, um, I search weird things, yeah. So I search things like, um, I search weird things. you had to choose between going naked or having your thoughts appear in thought bubbles above your head for everyone to read, which would you choose? Definitely naked. Definitely naked. Really? Yeah, because sometimes when I hear you like talking out loud, I'm like, what? Yeah, my thoughts are definitely not um. Well, I don't know. I don't mind the thought bubbles because usually like things just come into my head and I say them anyway. I definitely put mine through a little strainer. If that's what comes out when I put it through a strainer. <laughs> <laughs> Strain your thoughts. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. <laughs> have you ever walked in on your parents doing it? No. no I no. have. I don't want to talk about that. That's okay, great. next one. After you've dropped a piece of food, what's the longest time you've left it on the ground before you ate it? No, man, you pick it right up. Yeah, me too. I'm a little bit wongo, like, you know, so you I'll be like, right pick up. it right up. Yeah. But it's not like I'll be like, oh, I took longer than five seconds. I will eat it off the floor. As a matter of fact, if I walk by and I see something on the floor that I'd like to eat, I just pick it up and go ahead. <laughs> now we know where Remy gets it from. <laughs> like, oh, it's at the Fruit Loop. Oh, how about Fruit Loops in this house for a while? Okay, Remy is just like picking stuff out of the couch, like, but there's a lot of things in the coat. Yeah, I know. She finds random like an Oreo. I'm like, yeah. girl, you are gross. What don't kill fat? True. Have you ever tasted a booger? Yes. Not in a very long while. Like, I would say the last time I ate a booger, I must have been in prep school. So I know they're salty. That's how long? Yes, girl. Me too. Do you pick your nose? So how would we have eaten the bugger if we didn't pick it out? Anyway, next one. Um, who do you think is the worst dressed person in this room? I think I look good today. Yeah, I don't think that applies to us. I mean, I have a tear, but that's because the belly got big. Tracy! <laughs> it was not torn this morning. Okay. <laughs> Up for you. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Have you ever farted in an elevator? I'm sure you fart everywhere. I know. Oh my gosh. So the other day I did a Dutch over on Scott. Ooh. But usually my farts don't stink like they're loud. Okay. They're loud, but they don't smell bad. Remember that time I was farting up the stairs and I farted up all three flights of stairs? Yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> impressive, I must say. That was pretty And it was like it started off like some gunshot, like some bah, 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 
it's like your bottom hole if it even slightly opens it just releases a gunshot <laughs> it was so funny i farted everywhere and if i know like in my body if i know i'm guaranteed like a silent fart you want me to let it go in no but your smells so bad I guess because I eat so unhealthy, but yeah, I have some pretty stinky poops. They're very stinky. Mine are just loud. I have a mix, but most of the time they're stinky. Yeah. yeah. Um, true or false? You have a crush on fill in the blank. Who do you have a crush on? A crush? I think I'm too old to have a crush. I don't know. I have a crush on Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> I love keeping the pictures of oh, it all my watch. <laughs> of the people in this room, why do they think that we're in like this big arena? Of the people in this room, who do you want to trade lives with? No, I don't want your life. <laughs> Definitely not. What are some things you think about when you sit on the toilet? Wow, world hunger, how to cure it, what I'm going to do the next day. I was about my curls the other day. I actually took a picture of me on the toilet with my curls because I thought my hair looked good. Yeah? Yeah. And I took pictures of looking down until so the curls came so down. So you were doodling and taking pictures of yourself at the top? Yeah, but if I showed you that you wouldn't know I was on the That's toilet. Right. Oh, okay, okay. So okay, I okay, thought okay, I could okay. actually post it yeah. as a selfie and then just like snicker every time I looked at my Instagram to be like, haha, I was that on was the toilet. That was a toilet. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Nobody would know. Do you use poopery? If there's people over the house, mm -hmm. then I do. But if it's just me and Scott, no. I turn on the vent. Oh. Yeah. Um, did you have an imaginary friend growing up? No. I just had Jody. I didn't have an imaginary friend, but I like talking aloud, like in questions. So I get to either answer them for in myself. In other words, or... you're a Jamaican country helper. Like Miss Rose, yes. oh gosh. So I'd be like, me and I'd be like, this soap smell good? Yeah, man, it nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Miss Rose is at the house today. She does not stop. She loves <laughs> to chat. She loves to chat. I see? almost link Miss Rose to be like, I need bananas, but then Miss Rose would didn't bring the whole bushel for me. She brought calories for you today. She did? Oh, yeah. thank you. For my nephew. For, for her nephew. Okay. Did you ever cover your eyes during a scary part in a movie? Yes. I guess so, yeah. Have you ever practiced kissing in a mirror? Yes. Kissing on the mirror, kissing my hand. Yo, I was the best wall kiss at the whole of high school. <laughs> yo. My first boyfriend, I was like, yo, pucker up. Actually, no, just leave your mouth flat. I only know how to do it with flat mouth. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. And the bees talk. Yeah, I remember mommy gave it to me. And she used a sock to represent a penis. <laughs> mommy, I, they never gave me the version. Of Didn't the I give it to you? Probably. I don't remember, but it I was remember. mommy and daddy. It was, it was mommy on my bed. We were the only ones at home. And she used a sock and her two fists to represent the ball sack and the sack was a penis. Yeah. I remember that so clear from the birds and the bees talk. That was actually the day after I walked in on her and daddy. <laughs> so sorry, it was it like, worse. it just gets worse, it but it was like, worse. it was like a week oh, of non-stop I'm... sex action. Non-stop I'm... sex action, <laughs> sex action. Not nine of that femme was small. <laughs> Something of that femme was small. Yeah. <laughs> First thing, and then the next day, it's like balls. sock on balls. I'm like, Mom, what are you doing? She goes, We need to have a talk. This is a penis. These are scrotum. Oh I'm like, What? Yeah. What is your guilty pleasure? I'm gonna have to say, like, peanut butter. Tracy, you're allergic to peanut butter. So it's guilty. Oh. I shouldn't have it. Guilty pleasure? I don't know. I guess, I don't know, like something that makes me feel good but I shouldn't have. Maybe AC in the daytime. <laughs> guilty pleasure? I don't know. It's 
got this because we have all this all the sugar I eat. I feel like I don't like eating so much sugar. Like yesterday I had a lot of sugar. I felt bad, but I didn't feel good guilty. No, I, I yeah, at the end of it, that's why I just go to sleep. I think your guilty pleasure is Amazon. Yes. Jordy loves Amazon. I love Amazon. What's your worst habit? I might say the bubble thing and me, you know? I'm just joking. <laughs> Still a joke? No, I pick my... Actually, no, I don't even pick my nose anymore. I blow my nose. But I used to pick my... I used to be a nose picker. See, nice little crispy bubbles. It's flicker. Joe, just... Okay, one. sorry. What? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> fully loaded in there. <laughs> What's my worst habit? Um, if I'm gonna have to go off of what Scott says, it's gonna be in the night time, like, oh, it gets to certain points in the night time, and I start making a lot of, like, allergy noises, you know, like, <coughs> and, yeah. and being yeah. beside you is, like, being beside, like, like a factory of, but it's not like I can help it, like, I, it's just my allergies coming on, so it's very annoying. Mm -hmm. But like I keep asking Scott, like, what annoys you about me? What annoys you about me? And then when I cuss him off about something that annoys him, he goes, "You think you don't have your annoying traits too?" And I'm like, "Like what? Like I'd love to fix them so that I don't portray them to you." Because I tell him all of his. <laughs> <laughs> What's one of my bad habits? One of your bad habits? Like I'm obsessively. You chew your gum so loud. Jody brings out. I the don't understand. My mouth is closed. How do you hear it? Who doesn't hear it, Jody? Like I feel like you should get a piece of gum now to chew to show everybody how loud you chew your gum. It's like it's like I, I don't even know how you make it so loud. I don't know either. I didn't know that. You yeah, actually she told me that many times before. Tracy's sleeping. I get some gum and I lie down beside her. Tracy wakes up. Get up from here if you're gonna eat gum. Get up, get up. You can't lie down beside me if you're gonna chew gum. I'm like, I thought you were sleeping. <laughs> she wakes me up with her chewing of gum. But the crazy thing is that Jodie does not chew her food loud. So I don't know where this gum chewing comes from. <sighs> okay, the gum, I'll, I'll stick with the gum. Um, has anyone ever walked in on you when you're going number two in the bathroom? We yes. just leave the door open. I remember when I was trying to like initiate Sean into the relationship. I'm like, leave the door open. And he's like, no. And I wish I'd never done that. No, I don't wish I'd never but done Scott that. But Scott and I didn't share about that. He's never seen the pool. Really? No. You don't remember though that when I was growing up, I used to be like, come on, spend time with me. Yeah, I'm coming to the company. I've seen me pool. You've seen me pool. Yes. Yeah. But Scott has never seen me pool. I think bathroom is very, very, very. I get very pissed off when he leaves the door open. Especially like when he's doing his thing in there, like he's flossing. And you hate to see people floss so. Oh, oh my god. I remember when I was younger, I came in the room flossing, like, that's disgusting! Go back in the bathroom, that's bathroom business! And I'm like, is this floss? <laughs> you need private time for private reasons, man. Like, it's personal hygiene because it's personal. Okay, fine. Have you ever had a wardrobe malfunction? Yes. Like a big one, no? Well, I just found that picture from Trinidad Carnival where my nipple was hanging out and it was all over like Trinidad Carnival Diary was like a big deal. <laughs> there was no Instagram we were depends on Facebook and their straight, but it looked like a sequin, like a little brown sequin. I just had to accept it. I was just like, ah oh boy, there's a nip. There's a little nipple. You know, what, what are you really going to do? I know. But you know, some people are calling me, oh my God, your nipple is out. I was like, first of all, it's not like I have big luscious breasts for any man to be like whoa so I was like, like little breasts I was like me and my flat chest but the nipple free but the nipple free yeah. mm. okay that was a big one that was mm. a big one um not anything big that I can recall oh yes my shoes always give away on me oh girl Remember, the dry, yes, rock, the dry the rock shoe. shoes I just threw away another pair of shoes last night yes the red ones you wore last week no, oh. I put those back just for another picture. But there was oh. a black pair like that that I looked yesterday. They dry rot. You think it's because we're in Jamaica why they dry rot? I so think quickly. it's because in Jamaica the humidity and who is wearing black stiletto high heels? I know, I know, I know. You know, so yeah. Have you ever walked into a wall? 
I just walked into a wall last week so hard that I caught myself. I'm okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, you crazy. Tracy, what kind of wall did you walk in? Like a wall of thorns? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, and I was like, ow, and then I come to bed and Scott is like, you're bleeding. <laughs> was it in the night or something? Yes. Oh, but I remember the time you walked into a wall and you couldn't get out. We went to, we went to that party weekend over Independence, but we didn't go for the whole weekend, right? Jamaica can't manage us for an entire weekend like loose in the city. So we decided, <laughs> we were at our house in Trelawney and we said, we're gonna drive down for the day. So it was Tracy, myself, um, and two other friends. So we're, we're gonna drive down from Trelawney to Negril just for this one party. And we get there and yo, we got turned, turned, twist up and turn over. Yeah. We're trying to leave the party now, right? The, the person who is driving was just like, come, we gotta go, we gotta go. No, it was, I was supposed to be the designated oh, yes, driver. Yes, that's right, because Tracy's not a big drinker. Meanwhile, she's at the party and she's now the bartender behind the yes. bar. But anything anybody orders, she's now having it as well. Yes. The bar was moving really flu fluid though. You Thank did an you. excellent job. Thank you. And then when it's time to go, we're all looking all over for, the, for Tracy. We're like, where's Tracy? Where's Tracy? And the policeman comes to us and they're like, yo, your friend, is that your friend? <laughs> There's a corner, like a 90 degree corner like this. Tracy's in the corner walking. And she's like, guys, guys, like her, she's in the corner like this. And she's <laughs> continuing to walk. And she's just walking. She's like, I don't know where anybody is. Hello, hello. And she's walking. The policeman's like, yo, your, your friend. And we, we just turned around like, Trey. And she's like, where did you all go? <laughs> what? Oh, God. So, yeah. That was a good, that was a good, that that was was a good party. Yeah. That was a really good party. I think it's because we, we didn't expect to have that much fun. We surely did not. Because we were like, oh, let's just go on for the day. I think it was somebody's birthday. It was somebody's birthday. And we were carrying the cake. Cake. So we were like, yo, full of responsibility. You know, we gotta go down there, say hi, come back up, yeah. we're driving. So I'll drink designated driver. Oh, Lord of mercy. That was a good time though. Yes, 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 yes. Have you ever peed yourself? Definitely. I peed myself the other day too. I just, I well, just, you're pregnant. Okay, fine. Yeah, and I found I was going to the bathroom so much and I didn't want to get up and go to the bathroom again. So I just lay down there and I'm like, I'm not going to the bathroom. Anyway. So, what was the end of that story? So then I did a little trickle and then, like, it wasn't like I wet the bed, like, but you know, if you know, you know, you know, when you pee yourself, start so to jump up and then I had to go and then I had to take a shower and change my panty and my. PJ so you it. don't think that getting up to just pee in the toilet would have been way easier than peeing yeah, yourself? Yeah, but I was comfortable watching a movie, all of these things. So you waited till after the movie to go and... I don't understand, did the pee stay in like your labia fold? No, like it was I, like, like, like I didn't... Like I didn't... Like I... Didn't, like I didn't, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I started to do like a little pee and then you're like, oh god, no, I really have to go now. You know, it wasn't like I was like, shh. It wasn't like I was like, shh. It was just like a, you know, it was like, oh, no, What was your most embarrassing moment in public? Tendrils look really cute right there. Thank you. You look very like late in the late eighties, like you're about to come. Home. Oh, thank you. Dude, I've had a lot of embarrassing moments in public. I just, I just try and brush them off, like oh, I can't bother. Mm. Cause I feel like if you harp on them, then they stay. Yeah, and you'll always remember them. Cause I'm sure I've had to. I just can't really pinpoint one in particular. You know, you bury them in the back of your mind. Mm -hmm. You remember when? No, no. Mm -mm. Shh, shh, shh. Have you ever farted loudly in class? No, I don't think I've ever done that. Oh my gosh, I farted loud one time in the bathroom. Like we were out <laughs> at a party and everybody's like washing their hands and it's like girl time in the bathroom and I'm just there washing my hands. <laughs> <laughs> everybody looked at me and just pretended like... <laughs> but you're in the bathroom. It's like even if you're still in the bathroom, you're not allowed to fart. Like I all the time. I that too. 
I said it go in airport bathroom or any bathroom you roll up the toilet paper you have to fold it on your bottom in case like when you're peeing hard like spark comes out oh my god wow oh you do that yeah because sometimes I just say you'll carry the fart giveaway or like you're in like a room and then the bathroom is attached to it and you're you're going to the bathroom and you can hear everybody all kicking on their phone I'm like if a fart was out in here right now and I have to go back into the meeting I'm like hey oh excuse me that you know so yeah, just roll up the toilet paper on your on your hand yeah, I mean, I guess and use it to like cock up any fart that would come out. Like it, a, a I remember, fart oh, well, this reminds me of one of my most embarrassing times. I was dating this guy and we went up to Orlando together and I was meeting his family. And um, we were at the family house in Orlando and they had like a big party. To, you know like oh hey you know girlfriend is here introducing her so they had a big party at the house in Orlando anyway you know them foreign houses the walls are like paper thin right anyway I ate something at the party and immediately got food poisoning oh boy do you remember this the story no but I know that your belly is very dainty and I got food poisoning and I am in the bathroom like ruining it oh, no. <laughs> and the bathroom was like attached to the living room because i couldn't even move oh no trey yeah that was horrible that was really horrible that was really horrible shouldn't have dated that guy uh, okay <laughs> it's true indicate red flags <laughs> do you ever talk to yourself in the mirror all the time i talk to i don't even need a mirror to talk to myself <laughs> worse no when you have to wear a mask I've just gotten loud with it now because I'm like, why well, do I want people to see like my temple up here moving? So I'll be like, 10 o'clock already? Loud, you know, that's me in Starbucks this morning. Oh, this coffee is going to really hit the spot. But I'm not talking this. Oh my God, I'm, I'm daddy. Jody, you are, you, you and Miss Rose are like the same No, I, I love to talk to myself. I love to talk to myself. Like I'll be in here getting ready. I'll be in here like, oh, this is a funny show, eh? But I know you talk to yourself too. You're in a restroom and just went number two. Then you realize your stall has no toilet paper. What do you do? First of all, I wouldn't have gone in there. Uh, yeah, my bottom is so shy. Like I cannot, I cannot use the bathroom like that in public places. I doubt that would happen to me. Okay, so let's, okay, let's say it does. I think I would like look under because I don't want to pull up my panty and get dude on my panty. I think I would walk out in a shuffle. To the next bathroom definitely I hope that the next bathroom has toilet paper i would shout out first be like hey anybody in here i don't think i'd shout yeah i would shout oh you mean anybody in here no that's a me i shuffle around another yeah, shot but if there's like somebody in there i'd ask for them to pass me something but if not then i'd come out and shuffle yeah. to the next stall i wouldn't out. ask them to help me i would make sure nobody's in there and i'd shuffle away do you sleep with a stuffed animal no no do you drool in your sleep yes, yes. Do you talk in your sleep? Yes. I, I'm, I'm sure I do. Um, do you fill in the name or do you think so and so is cute? Uh, whatever. Who do you like the least in this room and why? Why are people playing this in an arena? <laughs> do you sing in the shower? Of course. Yeah, everybody does. What is your go to song for the shower? Eternal Father. Let's all that. Guide us. Oh, that, that lip tremble. Guide mighty home. That's good, Joe. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I like my range. Mm -hmm. that was really good. What do you do? I don't have a go to sound. No. Sure. Hmm. What's on my mind? True. Could be a little Bruno Mars. Or you make up your soup up the books. Soap up the poops, you save soap under your arm. Soap up the poops, save soap under your arm. Rub it on your neck, rub it on your neck. Find some husband here on the soap. What color underwear are you wearing right now? Probably black. black. I got those Amazon panties again. I should drop the link for that to them below. They're, they're great. What was the last thing you texted? Tracy, where are you? <laughs> and I texted, I'm outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> How
How often do you wash your undergarments? Something all right. Something all right, yeah. I don't understand. What's, what's, what do you, maybe they mean like your bra? Oh, I hardly wash my bra. They must mean bra. They must mean bra. You think people put their crusty underwear back in? I mean, maybe some people don't put the crust, but. What the hell? That's must up under you. I was watching this show last night on television, Scott and I. It's called The Bold Type. We were watching it here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Scott loves it. It's such a chick flick. It's like a chick flick <laughs> series. And Scott is like, you ready to watch the show? And I'm like, bro, okay. <laughs> so, anyway, we're watching it, and in the show, um, the girls are at the girls are at work and they got locked in the office for some reason and so they all started having drinks so the whole office is having drinks like the boys the girls everybody's having drinks they're all drunk right and so they've been at work all day long so then two one girl and one guy mm. they go home together and they start getting jiggy with it right they do it but i'm like and he i'm like okay so i look at scott and i'm like let me just understand something she has work poom poom, he, he has, has work body, body, and they're about to have sex like after this long day and they were locked in the office till late in the night, you know. I guess like it's just a little bit of poom poom must, like maybe maybe those pheromones turn him on. They maybe they just had sex, like I they weren't doing. Like, she's clearly not doing anything body sucking because that the frozen body can. <laughs> no, but the frozen body is one thing, but frozen poom poom. All day long? All day long? <laughs> it's a movie though. Remember in movies you poom poom those things. Oh yes, this is true. Hey guys, you like these questions? Well, we are not done. Well, we're done for today. So make sure you catch us next week for part dos. That's two in Spanish. Rakata! Rakata! <laughs> Guys, please make sure you drop a comment down below. What did you like to hear from us? Which question most surprised you? And also, please make sure that you are subscribed. And hit like. That, and like. And hit that notification bell. Ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys.